What is up killers, Kev here and today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website this week. This is going to be episode 462 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. KN Cutting Trees, coming in at 14.9 kilobytes of a download, a simple mod to cut trees for firewood. Simply equip a wood cutting axe and hit the tree a few times and you will be granted one firewood into your infantry. This is great for anyone who is playing the survival mode mod or anyone who just wants a little bit of immersion or realistic effect within the game. This will not work with the sword, you will have to have the corresponding item of a wood cutting axe which does make a lot of sense. Featuring hit any tree in Skyrim and literally any tree and you'll be given a piece of firewood. Also all types of the base game DLC are supported with this particular mod. All axes defined as a wood cutting axe should be supported and a stores of lists of recently chopped trees won't be given you any wood and they reset after three days which is really cool indeed heavily immersive a lot of scripting behind this particular one and as well i do love the simplistic fact of you know you can only get one piece of firewood from a given tree but there are plenty of trees within the world for you to cut down Targaryen armor coming in at 37.5 megabytes of a download. This version of heavy armor is craftable under the steel category at any given forge. This is going to be the mod author's first armor mod and I think it might be the last. Not too sure why because this definitely is going to be on point. I have no issues with this armor whatsoever apart from the gloves and the helm which you can clearly see within this footage now. Not too sure why but that will scoot it aside overall the armor the detailing on it was absolutely breathtaking i'm not too sure why i had a massive issue with the helmet and the gloves within this particular one i might have done it a little bit of a strange load order but i don't think that is the case something is definitely going on here but that will scoot it aside i don't really usually wear helmets within my game i kind of like to see the aesthetics of my character and as well the gloves weren't too much of an issue as there's plenty of other things to pair with it I personally really, really do like this particular set of armor. It's really nice indeed. Hopefully we can see much more from the mod author. Imperial Agents Enhanced Weather coming in at 13.1 kilobytes of a download. What the mod author did was add a little bit more of a diverse weather system to Tamriel overall, decreasing the chance of snow marsh because the marsh is a wetland and sort of a wasteland where it should be dominated by grass. Rush and reeves should be scattered around this one just to enjoy it a little bit better. Obviously in corresponding to that, a little bit things that should actually make sense within the biome that you are in. Sunny weather will mostly occur on forest, mass and other different things. Riften mostly is going to be foggy and cloudy with, with a little bit slight of a performance issue on that one. Not too sure why but obviously Riften for me just generally is always had an issue with running anything within it. Every time I've gone to Riften, it's always been a little, bit, a little bit laggy. There's other mods out there too that are catered towards increasing the FPS within Riften as a settlement. There's loads out there. Go and have a look if you don't believe me. Just because the frame rate decreases so much on console, no idea why. But a lot of people have been playing it on PC have had similar issues as well. But that will scoot it aside. I think this is very nice indeed. Kind of making the effects of weather true to the biome that you're actually in. Spectral Argonian Skull Spell. This is going to be the Corrupted Shade version coming in at 5.1 megabytes of a download. This mod adds a spell to the Conjuration Tree of a floating Argonian Skull with the Corrupted Shade effect added to it. This one is going to be a Apprentice leveled spell and it's going to get stronger as you do too. Health is going to be and damage is going to be close to an ice wraith within the game slightly less on the damage side it also absorbs health while it is attacking to kind of like a life leech system within other different games as well the easiest location to find the spell tomb is going to be on screen now at the cabin within the cellar pretty much it's going to be marked as a stolen tomb so as soon as you pick it up make sure to read it and pop it 
out. Very interesting indeed. A load of these have been kicking around on the website recently, and I thought I would cover just a few onto the channel. The Grey Cowl, coming in at two megabytes of a download. This is gonna be the unenchanted version of this iconic hood. I hear there is a dead thief at the Guardian Stones wearing a strange mask, hood, or cowl. Not too sure what it is, but make sure to go and check it out. But hurry, you need the weird things that happen of corpses within Skyrim. Not too sure what that means, but let me know if you know what that means within the comment section below. Pretty easy to find this one tucked up right near the left hand side of the Guardian Stones if upon looking at them. And obviously we know this as the Grey Fox within Oblivion. Not too sure why he stumbled within this particular game, but who cares? It's an absolute gorgeous looking mask to be added into the game. I do love the fact of the sort of scripture or the scribe within the middle of the mask. Overall, this is very cool indeed. Nice new attach to the game. Nice new collectible for those people who have been playing the Elder Scrolls for a long time. So guys, that's the end of this episode. This has been episode 462 within my series. Guys, if you did enjoy it, I would very much appreciate a like on the video. You know, it helps me out an awful lot. Let me know in the comment section below if you'll be grabbing any of the mods that we've showcased within this video or even through the week. But guys, until the next one, kill a kefir and Get a game out.